And now joining us from NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C., is the administrator for NASA, Sean O'Keefe. Mr. O'Keefe, first of all, from all of us at NBC News, we are very, very sorry for this tragic loss at the NASA family. Well, thank you, Tim. I appreciate it very much. We are uh, doing everything we possibly can to find out what caused this accident for the families of the crew of this uh, you know, courageous group of people who were aboard Columbia. We owe them that. We're going to find out. We're going to make sure exactly what it was that uh, caused this accident, and we're going to fix it. Can we, at the very top, rule out terrorism? It appears so, but we're not going to leave any stone unturned. We've, uh, as, as Jay did in his very comprehensive report, I, I, Jay it was a very thorough rundown of exactly where we are just in this last 24 hours. Uh, in the course of this, we've appointed a, not only an internal investigation to collect the evidence and to examine all the, the debris that came from uh, the, the Columbia orbiter as it uh, descended, uh, but also we've got an external independent objective board uh, that we've appointed. Uh, led by Admiral Hal Gaiman, who uh, you may recall led the investigation of the coal incident that occurred uh, three years ago. So he's got some experience looking at things like this, and we're not going to rule out any theory at all of what could possibly have caused this terrific accident. And as a, as a result, we're going to make sure we uh, examine all the evidence. In 1986, after the Challenger explosion, there was a presidential commission headed by a former Secretary of State, William Rogers. Would you be open to having a presidential commission? Well, at this juncture, again, we've got a, an independent uh, group that we've just appointed uh, last night. Uh, again, Admiral Hal Gaiman, uh, retired uh, four-star admiral, uh, who was commander-in-chief of the Atlantic Fleet. Uh, again, has experience in dealing with a range of different uh, mishap circumstances, accidents during the course of his naval career, but most significantly the coal incident, which was a very comprehensive review, as you recall. And uh, there is joined by a number of... Uh, independent non-NASA folks who are not associated with, uh, with the agency uh, review of the board members that are there and we're looking at uh, other external members that may be appointed and supplemented along with it. So let's, let's see where the, the, the process moves along here. I've got a lot of confidence in Admiral Gaiman's ability to look at this uh, and our objective is, our charge and request to him is to find out the cause of this accident. We're going to find out what the, the evidence leads to and we're going to fix this. There has been a lot of discussion about the left wing. Upon liftoff, uh, some foam peeling off, perhaps bumping against the tiles underneath the space shuttle. In hindsight, and it's always easier in hindsight, but could NASA have done more photography, more inspection? Could it, the astronauts have perhaps left the space shuttle to make a personal examination? Or could the shuttle have docked at the space station to make any kind of determination of potential damage? Every possible safety of operations issue was considered before flight, uh, was poured over before uh, everybody decided to, to launch. Uh, during the course of operations, every single issue we could think of to assure safety of flight was considered. Uh, and this was certified for re-entry uh, when it came in uh, yesterday morning at uh, a little before 9 a.m. Eastern Time, and everything was normal. There was positively nothing that anybody felt uh, that could possibly have been examined that would have contributed uh, to this horrific accident. So on every flight, we take this so seriously as to exactly what the safety of operations calls for, that that is the paramount objective we look to, and that can stop anything if there's any question about the safety of flight consideration. So it was examined as closely as we all know how to, and that's an awful lot of folks dedicating their lives to making certain that we do this right each and every time. And something went wrong, we're gonna find out what it was, we're gonna make absolutely certain we correct that and assure that this never happens again to the extent of any you know, human possibility. If in fact you had determined there had been some damage to the tiles, what could have been done? Could the astronauts have docked at the space station could have you changed the re-entry route, a, a longer orbit, an extra rotation around? There's a lot of different operational approaches that would be taken, and again, I wouldn't want to speculate on uh, which operational uh, approach would have been taken for which speculated set of problems. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of ways to deal with this, and we've certainly had lots of experience at it. Uh, this one ended tragically. We're going to make absolutely certain that we look at every possible piece of evidence that will tell us what was the cause of this incident. And we're going to make sure internally we're dedicated to doing that and find out the answer to that very important question you just posed. 
Let me show you a picture of the space station. This was launched on November 22nd of last year. It is in space. These three men will show on the screen, two Americans and one Russian, are scheduled to come back in uh, March. How will they get back? They were supposed to return on the shuttle. Well, this is our sixth expedition. This is a little over uh, two and a half years now of continuous presence in space aboard International Space Station. And our commander, Ken Bowersox, and the science officer, Don Pettit, and our cosmonaut uh, engineer, Nikolai Badarin are dependent upon us to make absolutely certain that we do everything possible uh, to send the resupply and for as long as it takes to figure out exactly what went wrong here and then send the flight there to, uh, uh, to bring them home and bring an Expedition 7 up to continue that operation on International Space Station. We've suspended flight for the time being to find out what the cause of this accident was. We owe that to them. We owe that to the families of the crew uh, to tell them the facts of what was involved we owe it to all of us, the American people, to determine exactly what occurred, make corrections, fix it, and go make sure that we support uh, the, the brave crew that's aboard International Space Station right now as soon as we can get there uh, to change out that crew, bring them home, and send a new one up. That's a continuous presence in space effort that we're still dedicated to. But as of now, a shuttle will not go to the space station in March to bring the, those, crew, those astronauts back. Well, like so many other occasions uh, where, where we've ever, ever found a safety consideration, we have put schedules on hold. That's exactly what we've done here. And we've done that several times in the course of the past year uh, or more, in which uh, any time there's anything that comes up that compromises or appears to be a safety of flight consideration, we put a hold on the schedule. And that's exactly what we've done here. That's what we've done before. We'll continue to do that every single time there is anything that would suggest that safety could be compromised. There is a contingency Russian capsule docked with the space station. Might they return in that? Well, that's too early to speculate, but yes, indeed, there is a capability to assure that uh, uh, the recrew is uh, returned safely, uh, and that capability is permanently docked aboard the International Space Station. Uh, nonetheless, uh, the, the, the approach we always use, because that's in the most extreme of emergencies, is to assure that the space shuttle uh, is uh, launched for the purpose of not only bringing home the current crew, but bringing Expedition 7 up uh, as soon as that's possible. They've been training for this, they're ready to go, uh, and that, that crew is uh, ready to take on that next mission, uh, and that's exactly what we're going to do as soon as we know that they can fly safely and that every operational consideration has been factored in in order to, uh, to assure safety of flight. That's what we're dedicated to every day. We're not going to change that now. A scientist in California, an astrologist, says he, see, he saw when the shuttle flew over something peeling away, perhaps those heat tiles. Uh, has anyone spoken to him yet? And will he, if not, will he be spoken to? Oh, sure. We're, we're, we're collecting all the evidence we possibly can. Uh, again, there's a team of folks uh, uh, around East Texas and West Louisiana that, are, that are, are, are examining all the debris, all the wreckage that's there. Every other observation that's been made prior to reentry and at reentry. We're making sure that we cover as much of that as possible. The investigative team is uh, being extremely thorough at this point. Uh, and so we're going to leave absolutely nothing to chance or unturned uh, to determine exactly what happened. We're looking at every possible theory of what could have contributed to this horrific accident. As you well know, Mr. O'Keefe, there have been several General Accounting Office investigation studies of NASA. The most recent just released on Friday, which expressed concern about the safety support of the shuttle program and also a, uh, the ch former chairman of the Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel, uh, Richard Bloomberg, who said, quote, I have never been as worried for space shuttle safety as I am right now. Why was he so concerned about space shuttle safety? Well, again, it's, it is a contribution of a number of factors. Um, uh, the upgrades of the shuttle orbiter, the continuing operations, but I think, uh, again, everyone has concurred that the approach that we use every single day to assure that prior to launch that every single factor, anything that could possibly compromise safety, uh, is examined as carefully as we know how to, that it's any objection, any concern is heard, and we correct any deficiency before launch. And that's the way we treated this uh, shuttle flight like we do every other. Something went wrong. We're going to find out what it was. Uh, and there is no other dominant factor that uh, uh, it's been observed by any external review group uh, that would suggest that there was a cause or another. We're going to find out what the evidence leads us to and determine what the cause of this accident was.